I'm going to talk to you the subject called Glorious Restoration Prayer Power. G Glorious Restoration Prayer Power. Let's play. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before your presence, before you, before your throne, God. I want to thank you, God, because you are wonderful, you are worthy, you are God. There is no any other God like you, oh God, my Father. I thank you. I bless your name. I give you all the glory, God, my Father. I pray that, God, you will restore everything that we have lost, things that we lost in 2016. My God and my Father, we pr I pray that you restore them. Restore them. Restore them. Restore them. Restore everything, God, because you are a God of glory. Glorious God, my Father. You are a God of glory. You are a God of hosts. You are a God of gods. You are a King of glory. Father, this morning as I come before you, I pray that let the morning here, let this hour here, that we are coming to you, Lord. We are coming this hour, Lord, to worship you and honor you, my God and my Father. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus, any evil power, any demon, any wicked power moving, working this hour against anyone, let them die. Let them be destroyed. Let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power of darkness working against any one of us, working any one of you, light now as, as they hear my voice, let them vanish. Let them be vanished. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. My Father, my Father, I am lifting up your name once again. I thank you, Father. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to welcome once again, and I, I, I say God, God is God. We thank God because we are alive. We are alive and safe, and we, we are well. Those who are sick, I'm sorry for them. Those who are going through trauma, trauma like what happened yesterday in the States, some of them, they, are, they, they, are like, they, they, are, they have nightmare right now. And also, I pray that God will restore America. God will restore our country. God will restore our nations. God will restore back our hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My God, sorry for that. Let me turn this thing off. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I want to thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God will restore everything that we have lost in Jesus' name. I pray that God has restored you and he will restore everything that has lost in Jesus' name. God is good. Uh, I'm going to read from the book of uh, Mark 8, verse 25. The book of Mark 8, verse 25. Agnes, can you read for us, please? Okay, I'm reading from the book of Mark and he was restored and saw everyone clearly. Okay, Agnes, can you repeat that scripture again, please? Then he put his hands on his eyes and and made him look up. And he was restored and saw everyone clearly. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Mark 8, verse 25, then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he opened his eyes. His sight was restored, and he saw everything. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are so good. Jesus is going to restore back every sight, everything that you have lost. He restored this young man's eyes. And he was able to see clearly in the mighty name of Jesus. You are sight that has been lost. You are sight that has been lost that you cannot see. May Lord, may Jesus Christ restore back your sight to see. Some people, they are blind. Some people, they are completely blind. They, are, they don't know. They don't see anything. Some people are physical blind. Some are spiritual blind. So both of them, they are blind. So, children of God, may Jesus who restored the eyes of this young man to restore back your sight and see in the mighty name of Jesus. 
2017 yeah. is a year of glorious restoration, prayer power. Your power prayer is going to change. Your prayer life is going to change. In our ministry, we are planning to study the Bible, to read the Bible within 35 days, or the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation within 35 days. We are going to start on Monday. We are going to start on Monday, reading the Bible 35 days for, for the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. If you want to join us, you will hear us per uh, popcorn and, and popcorn and prayer line. That's where we are going to study our Bible and, and, and study the Bible, the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Uh, uh, 35 days. So that is that, that is the restoration. After finishing the whole Bible within that five days, the glorious restoration prayer power, it will come, it will build yourself. You will find yourself being built in prayer. Your prayer life will change. You will be fire prayer. You will be fire brigade prayer. Yes, fire brigade prayer. That's how you return yourself. So God, who oh, restore this young man's eyes, may he restore back your sight so that you can see what, what how, the, how God sees, what other people they don't see, would you be able to see? Restoration is coming because our God is a glorious God. It's God who restore what you have lost. Things you have lost, you lost, your health, your husband, your wife, your children, God is going to restore them back in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look in the book of Joel, the book of Joel, the book of Joel, the book of Joel, uh, Joel, Joel 2, verse 22, Joel 2, verse 22 to 26. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, God is God. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. My God. Yes, go ahead. Joel 2, verse 22 to 26. Okay. Do not be afraid, you beasts of the field, for the open pastures are springing up. Joel, 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 the book of Joel 2, verse 22 to 26. Yeah, that's what I'm reading. Okay, okay, go ahead. of Joel 2 verse 22 to 26 the Bible says be glad then you children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord you you are, you are God for he has given you the former rains faithful and he was caused the rain to come down for you the former rain and the later rain in the first month the threshed fl flats shall be full of wheat and he faith shall overflow with new wine and oil. So I will restore to you the ears that the swarming lacus has eaten, the crowing lacus, the consuming lacus, and the chewing lacus. May great army which I send among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord you are God who has dealt wondrously with you are with you and my people shall ever be put to shame. Hallelujah. God is going to restore. God is going to restore what the enemy has been eating. The enemy that has been eating your your money. The en enemy what has been stolen, what has been eating you, the enemy that has been taking everything from you. God is going to restore them. God is going to restore. It is a restoration time that God is going to restore. It is a glorious year. It is glorious time. It is the glory. Yes, money is going to be restored. People who are honing you. You know, you own people money and people haunts you. Now they refuse to pay you. Even rent. Those who are, have, who are, who are, who are landlord. You rent, you rent people your house, but they refuse to pay. They will pay all the money they own you. Restoration is coming. 
everywhere that your money is, everywhere that your you are, you are, you are, you are staff is, God is going to restore them back. Your job is going to be restored. You were fired without no reason. They are going to restore. You are fighting them with the, with the labor. God is going to restore them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, it is time for restoration. As the Bible says in verse 26, it says, You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has who has dealt tremendous, who has dealt wondrously with you. Uh, you will eat. You will not bother to eat. You will not bother to eat. You will be eating plenty. When the, the famine is coming, you with you you will be loving because restoration is coming. Everything that it, that you lost, it is going to be double portion. It's going to come back. God is going to restore everything. You will be satisfied. You will eat plenty in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a, it's the time that God has remembered you. This is the season. As we keep yourself in prayer, this is a glorious time that God is going to, to, to raise his blessings to you. This year, 2017, is a year of victory and prosperity. So victory and prosperity will come when you also participate in prayer expectation praying and receiving giving and planting this year as you will plant your seeds more as you show more plant seeds you will harvest you will see what god is going to give to you god is going to bless you mightily 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 it is a year that god is going to release the blessings to you i have so many videos i've been talking about it now I'm coming again to repeat the same, almost the same thing, but this is a different one. You will be surprised. It is going to be shock you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 30, verse 7 to 10. The, the book of Deuteronomy 30, verse 7 to 10. Can you read my sister Agnes? Okay. Also the word of God will put all these curses on your Those who are persecuting you, 
racism in the office place, place where you are living, in your community, in your environment, wherever they are, they persecute you, they hate you. God is going to pass, put a curse on them because God is God. He, he has said and they will do it. And you will again obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments, which I command you today. The Lord your God will make you abandon, abandon, ab abandon, abandonness in all the works of your hands. God is going to bless your hands. God is going to risk blessings in your hands. Everything that you are doing. You know some of you, you, you work, but you don't see. But this is what God is going to do. He will bless your hand. The work of your hand, you will be blessed. Hallelujah. Everything you are doing is going to be blessed. The God is going to bless the work of your, your hand. The work of your labor. So you have been working so hard, but at the end you have nothing. This year, many of you, you are going to buy your own mortgage. You are going to buy your own house. You are going to buy your own car. You are going to have your, your own stuff because God is going to bless your hand, the work of your labor. Only leave you obey and do the commandment as God says. Only leave you obey today. You obey the voice of the Lord your God. God is led to bless your, the work of your hand. You have been planting your seeds in a long process. You, are, you, are, you have been giving your tithes and offering, but you are going down. You lose work. You, you are fired. You lose a job. You lose your house. You lose your car. You lose your houses. And you are still planting a seed in a wrong soil. Change your behavior. Change your attitude of your giving. God is going to release the blessings, but he cannot release the blessings when, you are, when we are funding satanic bank. When you are giving satanic bank where, where there is no blessings of God. Instead, Satan is the one who is taking glory. God is not going to accept that. You have to give the right place where the blessings of God is coming. Because God has said he will bless the work of your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yes, yes. God has said and he will do it. God will keep, uh, the Bible says, that, uh, that, that the Bible says very clearly here, the Lord your God will make you prosper all the works of your hand in the fruit of your body in increase of your livestock and in the product in the produce of your hands of your land of good for he for for the lord will again rejoice over you for good as he rejoice over your fathers if you obey the voice of the lord your god god and to keep his commandment and his statutes which are written in the, in the book of the law and if you turn to the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul as the lord has said god is very happy to bless you god is not mean god is a wealthy god because it's his hand to make you wealthy the blessings of god does not add and sorrow so restoration is coming as you change your behavior 2017 change your way of giving How, where do you give your tithes and offering all this year you have been faithful giving your tithes what is it are you increasing or decreasing are you promoting or you are you are de 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 demoting are you on, on moving or you are going backward are you moving forward or you are moving backward check those things sit down Take a pencil and a, and a, pe a, pe a paper. Write everything. Say, since I've been giving this church, what have I get from this church since I've been giving? This person I give my tithes and over, what am I getting from the person? Yes, you have to change your behavior, your giving. I, I was, give, I, I was talk, talking with a pastor. And the pastor told me about this problem, how, how he's going through some financial problem. And then I gave him, I, I saw his life, $200. Now, when I saw this $200, and then the Holy Spirit asked me, when you are showing to this pastor, what are you getting from this pastor? Yeah? What are you getting from this pastor? Does this pastor pray for you? Does this pastor also faithful to his, his ministry? Yeah? When I look at look at and then I watch him, I watch him, I watch him because I wanted to know what after I saw him, what is the result? When I didn't see any blessings, I instead I lose. Then I found I saw in a long place, so I change it. Yeah, 
Now you have to change your ways. If you sow and nothing is coming, you are now getting decrease. You are, you are begging. You are becoming broke all the time. Check your behaviors. Check your, where you sow your, 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 your seed. Because if you saw a seed in a thorn, in a wrong place where the parts of the air will come and eat, where, where it would not be, God will not bless you, it cannot. You, instead, you lose and, and, and feel bad. Therefore, I pray that according to this scripture, may it come to your life, as God has said, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, we are going to do read, I'm going to read with you the, the scripture which is very powerful. Yesterday, when we were in our deliverance prayer meeting, I saw a vision. When I was praying for one of my son, I saw this vision. When I saw the vision, I, I said, wow, oh my God. Anybody sleeping this morning? Please move from the, the prayer line. Get, get away from the prayer line. Just go away. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. I was praying for... Uh, one of my sons. And then God opened my eyes and I saw how the enemy is milking him, is sucking him, is sucking everything from him. So I said, okay, I have now seen. Now what is this? I explained to him, it was really, it was, yeah, I, was, I, was, I was shocked that what I saw. You know the cow? The, it was a big, big cow and a calf and a baby. And they were sucking. So I said, my God, what is this? Why is it that a human being can do this? What is this the enemy doing with this? Then I prayed for him. Now, this morning, I God gave me the revelation of that vision that I saw last night. Now, I understand. I understand the vision very well. I do understood the vision now. Because I know the meaning of that vision. It is two ways, but God is changing now to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's read the, the book of Isaiah 60, verse 11 to 22. Agnes, you read slowly and I will follow you as you read one scripture at a time, one verse at a time. Huh? Okay, go on. Right. Therefore, your gates shall be open continually and your shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles and their king in perfection. Amen. Amen. Therefore, your gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. The men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles. The many will bring you the wealth of the Gentile. Power must change hand. Wealth must change hand. Wealth is changing. Wealth is changing. Restoration is coming. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, you are so good. Your gates will be open. Day and night. Continually. Your bank account would be full because man is going to bring to you the wealth of Gentiles. The wealth of Gentiles is going to be transferred to you whether you like it or not because God has said. Hallelujah. All the enemy, the man the enemy has taken from you by force, by fire, is going to be restored back. Is going to come back to you in Jesus' name. All the wealth of the wicked, all the, work, the, 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 the wealth of the, the unrighteous, God is going to transfer them to your bank account, to you in Jesus' name. The Bible says, and their kings is possession. Continue, sister. For the nation and kingdom which will not serve you shall perish. Oh. And those nations shall be utterly Yes, yes. Yes, this is a commandment. This is the power of God. That is why glorious, glorious restoration prayer power, it is one to make the enemy, anyone who does not bless you, if nobody will bless you, they will perish. I am a minister. I am praying for you. I am doing everything that I can. You've been blessed by my videos. 
You call me any time, any time I pray for you. I go to very difficult time to cast out the demons because other pastors cannot do that. I am at risk of being attacked by your demons. I am at risk attacked by your witchcraft. But here I am. And then you refuse to bless me. I'm telling you, you there's no blessings of God you will get. A man called me. I prayed for him. I did the deliverance. I did the anointing for him. And now I, I told him now, you see, uh, I want to help you to build your an altar. Go and sow. Go and sow to our ministry an amount. I didn't tell him that it's $100 or $1,000. I said, if this ministry is blessing, you go and sow. When I said so, the man went and collected all the, the, the videos which talks about false prophets. And then he posted to me and said that I'm a false prophet. Now, now I said, I am not a false prophet. May nothing good happen to that person. Full stop. That is how it is. When you bless me, I will bless you. But if you refuse, you don't want to bless me, it, 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 it is up to you. Nothing will happen to you, you know. You will perish. And that's why the Bible says, my people are blessing because of lack of knowledge. You go to the men of God, they pray for you, they pray for you, they did everything, you refuse to bless their, their ministry because you have mentality that the pastors, they are after money. I spend a lot of time. You call me, I pray with you. I spend time. Now, all this time, do you want me to use my time without, without pay, without anything? So if I can do every day 10 people like that, where, where could I get even my, 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 my oil, my food? So let, let us talk. This is the really thing. If you don't place the work of God, you will perish, you will be destroyed. Because that is why even Malachi says, Malachi says, bring, Malachi says, bring ye your tithe and offering and see if I cannot bless you. See if, I, if, I cannot, if God cannot bless you. He said, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. We are going to take our first fruit offering and I will teach here in Bereskop. I will talk about that first, first fruit offering. If you have no place to give it, prepare night now. The end of the month. This month, the end of January, we will be taking our first fruits. You plant the, the seed that will, that, you, that, that will open doors and windows for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. Continue, my sister. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you. Mm -hmm. The cypress, the cypress and the palm tree shall come to you together. Amen. Beautify the place of my sanctuary. Yes. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Amen. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you. The glory of Lebanon, all the wealth of these nations will come upon you. Will come to you. Look at that. The beauty of the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. You see, the glorious restoration will come upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we thank you, God. Continue, sister. Also, the sons of those who afflicted you shall come bowing to you. And all those who despise you shall fall prostrate at the soles of your feet. Okay. And they shall call you. You the see? City of the Lord. Amen. Also, the sons of those who afflicted you shall come Pending to you, shall come pending to you, shall come pending to you. And all those who despise you shall fall down at the sole of your feet, and they shall call you the city of the Lord, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. You know, there's a people who disrespect you so much. It, that's not, they don't recognize you. But God is going to bless you up. God is going to bless you. God is going to bring a blessings that they will come and bend on you. They will come and kneel before you. Another language, another way is to kneel before you. They will come and say, Christine, we used to hate you. We don't like your ministry. Is this how God has blessed you? Now they come with respect and they will say, surely God has blessed you. God has blessed you. People will come and say yes and they will, those who are despise you, those who are rejecting you, who, who are loving you, let them love, but the time will come. When they will come and kneel before you, when they will come and wash your feet, 
When they will come and bend before you. When they will come and, and beg you. I remember one time in, in my country. Uh, there was this church I used to go. Something happened. And then they, 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 they disown me. They despise me. They, they chase me from the church. They said I should not be in that church because I have different spirit. Because I was asking a simple question. Why is it that a woman tying the head wearing wrong wrong dress but when a white woman come to our church it, she doesn't cover her hair she wear pants but people are happy they press and she's a woman what is the difference hearing makeup the woman looks beautiful but with us we are in bondage when i ask that they, they become against me they said no i'm bringing wrong 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 doctrine in the church and then they also they didn't want people to go to bible college so they said that I am roast. I, I, I don't have to fellowship with them. They expel me from the church. And then God was with me. I went straight. I started a ministry in the streets because I had a call. And then I, I attended the Bible college. In the, in the streets of Kisumu, Kenya, well, the first meeting I started there, I didn't have microphone, I don't have, but I started preaching through, 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 like that. People started gathered together. So many crowd came, came and listened to me. Now, I prayed, I prayed for them, one man, a mad man. That's why I'm saying that God has given me a gift of mad people. A mad man. He was naked for many years. When he came to me, and I hold me, I hold him, and I pray the, the, the power of God fall upon that man. The man was healed instantly. And there was a, a man, a white man, a missionary, who had a camera. A video camera me with those days we didn't know the camera video camera we have no idea about the cameras he took me a camera uh, the video camera he was watching me what i was doing after the service that man came to me and talked to me and saw me the things which was going on from that day my life changed completely and then something happened to that church the church which has expelled me now they came to me to borrow from me this is only speaking god is my witness they came to borrow from me and they, they confess and repent. The bishop who expelled me, he repented. He, he, he really repented on the church and they asked me to forgive him. Because now, through the way they expelled me and they cast me from the church, that's how God opened my ministry. And I, I become wealthy. I become rich straight away. I, I God opened for me doors to go to overseas, to go to Denmark, Germany, Norway, all over, USA, all over. I was working with the United Nations. I became a, a credited. I was credited with the United Nations Habitat. Uh, you go go to Habitat UN. You will see my name there. We I am credited because I was fighting for human rights, children and women. So. That's how God has, has, has left me. When I tell you that God will, will lift you this scripture, they will come and kneel before you. It is true. People who have been despising you, who disrespect you, they are coming to kneel before you, to pour from you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, sister. Whereas you have been mistaken and hated, and so that many of the been forsaken and hated you know you have been shaken people hate you you know people hate a poor person they don't want you they don't want to see you they when they see you they give excuse you look like a, a, a you look like an a enemy now everybody hates you because they don't want you but when god is going to bless you when you have that money when you have your mortgage when you have that car you are driving when you change your lifestyle even walking ha huh? God, they will look at you. The Bible says that you shall, the Bible says, I will make you an external excellence, a joy of many generations, many generations. God will make you, will make you external excellence, a, a joy of many generations. Your generation will never cry again. Your generation will never be poverty again. Through you, you will change your generation forever. Your generation will be happy, will be rejoicing because you will put a foundation of God and the wealthy 
So your generation will not struggle what you went through because of you. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord and, and do what God says, your life will change forever. That's why the Deuteronomy was saying. So change and help your family. Help your generation to come. Your children, your grandchildren, children, they will never go through what you went through. If today you hear the voice of the Lord and do what God is saying to do. He will make you excellence. Hallelujah. Now, verse 16. This is the vision that I saw. I saw it yesterday, but I didn't have, I didn't have an idea about this, but I saw how this man was being sacked. Now, you read this scripture, my dear sister. Okay. You shall drink the milk of the Gentiles and milk the breath of things. You shall know that I the Lord and your Savior and your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Yes, now here is good news. The enemy knows this scripture, and you, you have no idea about this scripture. The enemy is milking you, is sucking you, and taking everything from you. Now the Bible says, You, sh you shall drink the milk of the Gentiles. And milk the the breast of the kings. You will you will you will milk you will suck the the breast of the kings. You shall know that I the Lord I am your savior. You will milk you will suck the milk of the the breast of the kings. You will drink the wealth of the the, the milk of the Gentile. All the wealth of the Gentile. You will milk them. Not them to milk you, not them to take everything from you. You will take everything from the Gentiles. You will take everything from the kings. That's what the Bible says. When I saw in the spirit in the, in the spiritual lab, when I saw in the vision yesterday, the way those people are sucking people, the way those wicked are milking people are sucking them. You see, there is like a cow, a, the baby sucking the, the, the milk. When the baby is angry, suck the milk, suck, suck, suck. It doesn't, it doesn't, what he wants, he wants to fill her, his stomach or her stomach. So you also, you will go and suck and take every money that wicked king is holding, that, that millionaires who is having money and you're a child of God, you have nothing. Your time has come when you go there and you will milk everything they have taken from you. You will drink and drink until your stomach is becoming big. Your belly will become big. You know, right now, they have taken everything. You know, they, they put in, in your, they are, you are wealthy in their belly. Now their belly is big, moving like this, and you, you have nothing. It is not so 2017. The Bible says, go and read that scripture, meditate upon it, and may God open your eyes like what Jesus did to that young man. May it open your eyes and see by yourself. Restoration is coming. Glorious restoration prayer power is coming to restore what the enemy has taken from you. Hallelujah. 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 Restoration has come. Restoration has come. Restoration glorious restoration has come. You will be able to milk the kings to the breast of the kings. You go and put your mouth and milk everything they have taken from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes Lord. Thank you Father. Now Continue, sister. Instead of bronze, I will bring gold. Instead of iron, I will bring silver. Instead of wood, bronze. And instead of stone, iron, I will also make your officers see. Yay! Amen. 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 Restoration is coming. Glorious restoration. God is saying, instead of Bruce, I will bring instead of brass i will bring gold instead of iron i will bring silver glory instead of gold blues i instead of stone i bring iron i will make your office peace and your majesty's righteousness in the mighty name of jesus glory thank you jesus my god i want to thank you jesus my god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus my God, I want to thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Now, look at verse 18. What does the Bible say? God is good, my dear. Go, go, read my sister. Violence shall no longer be heard in your 
your land. May the waste be your destruction within your borders. But you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. Glorious, glory, glorious, glorious, glorious restoration, glorious restoration prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Power prayer, hallelujah, glorious God. Violence shall no longer be had in your land. There will be no fire and any fire and you will not, you will never hide hear them. Hallelujah, glory be the name of Jesus. Ha, huh. God is God. God has declared a war against any violent person, any evil. There was a video I did, uh, uh, 2016, 36 prayer, 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 prayer and fasting for USA election. That video I, I did, and please, if you can find that video, I'm going to review it and bring it up again. What God showed me, what God showed me and what I did, this is what is happening right now. Because God so told me very clearly that anybody will cheat, anybody would lie, will not go free. He will be exposed and disgraced. The videos is there. I want you people of God to go and look at that video. The way I, I told people, anybody will cheat, anybody will lie, anybody will use any, anything to, 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 get, to, to win this election, he will not go free. He will be exposed and disgraced. Now, according to this word, the Bible says, violence shall no longer be had in your land. There will be no violence because you will be doing the right thing. If you do the right thing, you will pay the word of the Lord, there will be no violence. Violence will go to the enemy. Violence will go to the evil people who cheat, who do evil stuff, who does not do the right thing. You will never hear any destruction even distract they said neither wasting no destruction within your border now when you cheat when you are lying when you do evil when you don't do the right thing you can you will have destruction you you will have violence you will not have any peace therefore with you because restoration has come you will never you will never experience that you go to your pocket and sow the right the right seed and do the right thing you will see when people are fighting war and fighting you, you have, you have peace. They could not locate you. There is no place like the place where I come from. We have trouble, trouble crashes. We have war, wars. People fight, but with me, with the house, nothing. Go to our district. Go on the Google Kisi Kisi Town. K I S I I. This is the place like 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 gold uh, ground, very fat island. Everybody's a refuge of many people. Even me, when I was moving outside from the other city, when we had trouble crashes, we mo everybody moved to that city. It's a small city, but it's a is is a, a very rich uh, uh, city. I'm telling you, we don't kiss people. We don't we don't experience those violent stuff. They will hear it from distance. Now, when we come, because with us we are known, when we move, those people will run away far. They will not come near us. We are fighters. So they don't come to attack us. If they attack us, they will be dust. They will be finished. Because God has blessed us. I'm telling you this is the truth. Go go and check Kisi. I-S-I-I. -I -I. Check that, that province in Kenya. Look at the people who are living there. <laughs> that's where I was. That's where I come from. That's where I was born. But I moved to another province where I grew up with my family. Now, the destruction will not locate you. Destruction will never come to you to waste you to your border. Restoration is coming in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall be. You shall. But you shall be called your walls of salvation and your your gates pressure. Hallelujah. I'm, 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 I'm going to stop here. I'm going to pray with you. Because uh, 11 o'clock, I'm going to have children deliverance prayer. We are going to pray for the children. Children, 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 ministry children prayer. Because God has said, God is going to use children more than others. This year is the year of children. Many children, God are going to bless them. 
And I'm, I'm taking responsibility because God has talked to me, has called me to talk and pray for the children. So I'm going to pray, the, pray for the children 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So we are going to our ministry, our, our deliverance prayer, praise in Brampton at the Civic Center where, we, where we, are, we have our prayer meeting. All the children, parents, bring your children, come with your, your grandchildren, or you can come and stand in the gap of children. I will try to put in periscope or on prayer line. So I, you, 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 you come on 12, 12, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, come 12 o'clock in Periscope or prayer line. If I don't connect, then you know the, the internet or something is not right. But I wanted people to come, to bring their children so that I can pray for them. I have 40 prophetic word for the children. 40 prophecy. 40, 40 prophetic that I'm going to, to prophesy to the children. I'm going to put it in the life of children. Going back to school, going back to college, going back to university, going back to back to work. I'm going to pray for you. So yeah, the prayer will start exactly 12 midnight, 12 mid midday, 12 midday. So I'm going to pray for you because I have so much prayer of restoration, restoration. Yeah, 12 noon. Thank you. I have this prayer and I'm going to pray for you. Uh, God will help me. I know I, 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 he will. So let me pray for you. All your blessings. That, you, that have been buried with the dead relative, I command them to come alive in the mighty name of Jesus, to come alive and locate you in Jesus' name. All your blessings that the enemy has taken, that the enemy is holding, which belongs to you, they have taken it. I command them to locate you and come to you in Jesus' name. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. All death you are holding, I command fire, I command thunder to cancel it in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray all your blessings that are presently not in this country where you are. Maybe your blessings are not in that place where you are living. They are somewhere. I pray that God locate, let, let God locate it for you. Let God locate your blessings where it is. You can be in a place, you can be in a, in, a, in a place where your blessings is not there. So I pray that let God locate your blessings where they are in Jesus' name. I pray that every strong man, every stronghold of your father's house, I command them to, to, to be dismantled. There's the powers of your father's house. They, are, they, they don't want you to have anything. When you have money, they will fight, they will come for it and take it and squander it. You remain without nothing. So I pray, any, any strong man of your father's house, all stronghold of your father's house, let them be dismantled. Let them be rendered powerless in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that, oh Lord, let you favor. I pray that let God favor you. Let the favor of God fall Amen. upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let, 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 you, let, you, let you find favor, compassion and loving kindness Amen. with concerning this mother, concerning your finances. Let God have favor Amen. on you concerning your, 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 your finances. Let God have favor. You need a favor, especially this time when children are going back to school. Single mothers, it is very difficult. It is very hard. To be single mother and you have children, you need the favor of God. You need the miracles of God. Right now, some of you are not sleeping. You are thinking how you will send your children to school. Here in, in this country, some of some of here, here is, you are lucky because here is not like other countries. Even here is tough. It is difficult too. But you are a single mother. You are a single parent. You, you have been thinking, I pray that God will give you favor. God will open his good treasure and boil the blessings that you will not have a blessed to keep it in Jesus' name. I pray that God will have mercy, compassion over you to release financial miracle, to, 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 to release breakthrough, financial breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Within 72 Amen. hours, I pray that God will touch the hearts of people who, who, can, who can give to you, who can transfer the wealth to you. Remember, the wealth of the Gentile will be transferred to you. Let the wealth of the Gentile to be transferred to you. Right now, as you are in this situation, as you are looking for financial breakthrough, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that God will release the blessings, miracles into your life in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that God will give you dreams and vision. 
and to, 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 to where your money is, where it is located. Let God touch them. Let God touch those people who can bless you, who can bring blessings to you in Jesus' name. I command Amen. your money, be engaged, your money that has been engaged by the enemy to be completely released. The enemy that is holding your money, that is engaging your money, your benefits, foreign benefits, that you, you need to have it. But the enemy is holding them, putting them in the gauge. I command that gate to catch fire and burn to ashes. Yeah. Disability Amen. support. Right. You, you, you cannot work right now. You are on, you written off. All of your disciples, you, are, you, are, you, are, you can't work. You need help. Now, you can't get help because the enemy has, has put, has, has gauge your, your benefits. I pray that gauge to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will open his good treasure once again to give to you the money and, and, and miracles of finances in Jesus' name. I bind and Amen. put to, to flight all the spirit of fear and the discouragement in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord, let Amen. divine wisdom fall upon all who are supporting me or supporting you. Let the, the divine wisdom fall upon those who are supporting you or me in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that anyone who, who, who can support you, who, who God is going to touch to, to support you, let the divine wisdom fall upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, my Father, God Almighty, King of glory, Jesus Christ, God, my Father, I want to thank you, God. I pray that, oh God, hammer the mother unto the mind of those who will assist you so that they do not suffer from demonic loss of memory. You know, there's an enemy. You, you, you want to help somebody. The moment you are going to help this person, something happens, you don't help the person. Before you, you can have a good deal, somebody promise you that I'm going to give you money. Before the person who can give you money or can bless you, something happened to the person, to your helper. I pray that God will protect your helper. In the mighty name of Jesus, the divine arm of God to fall upon your elbow. I pray God, my father, let the protection, let the fire of God protect your elbow wherever they are. Any elbow will not suffer, will not be attacked, will not suffer any demonic by the power in the blood of Jesus. I paralyze the handwork of, 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 of household enemies and the envious agents in the matter in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I pray that God Almighty, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I paralyze the handwork of household enemies and envious agents in this matter. Envious enemy, enemy, who does not want you to, to be rich? Who does not want you to have money? I pray that let God Almighty attack them because God says he will, he will, he will destroy them. He will dismantle them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, you devil. Take your legs away from the top of your finances. I am praying you, the devil to take away their legs, to take away their hands, to take away their mouth, to take away their eyes from your finances, from your business, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit touch your life from any evil mark upon, upon, upon put upon you in Jesus' name. Let, let the Holy Ghost fire Touch your life from any evil mark put upon you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord, I thank Amen. you. My God and my Father, Amen. I pray, Lord, open doors of opportunity to you. Let God open yes. doors of opportunity to you through this yes. prayer in the name of Jesus. I pray, let God Amen. open yes. doors of opportunities through these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. I command all evil and known forces organized against your life to be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. I paralyze every activities of physical and spiritual parasite and the devours in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. God, I want to thank you, Father. I bleed the blood of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I pray I paralyze. I paralyze every activity of physical and spiritual parasite and devours in your life in Jesus' name. Any devour, anything that is devouring your money, anything that is eating your money, in the mighty name of Jesus, I paralyze them. I paralyze them. I paralyze. Your money will be protected. No horse, no parasite, no wicked, no evil, no devour will devour your money. It will be pressed 
it will be protected in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, I want to thank you, Father. I bless your name, God. I praise your name, Jesus. Powers of denying your, your due miracles, I command them to receive the stone of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Powers to deny your due miracles. You know there's satanic power denying your due miracles. When you are about to get your miracles, they deny you, you miss it. When you are about to get your promotion, they deny you to you miss it. When you are about to get the, the, the contract, they deny you, you miss it. I pray that the that enemy that is making you to miss these miracles, let them be right. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. It is restoration. Amen. Whether the devil like it or not, the glorious, glorious restoration prayer power has come. And the devil must get out in the mighty name of Jesus. Devil, you must Amen. leave this man out. You must leave this person. You must leave the man of this person in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. I pray you will recover all the ground that you had lost to the enemy in the name of Jesus. You will recover everything Amen. that you have lost to the enemies. All, all your money, everything that you have Amen. lost to the enemies. You will recover in Jesus' name. You will, it will be restored Amen. back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration. Amen. Restoration has come. Restoration has come. Restoration has come. Amen. You will restore. It is one to be restored. It is one to be restored. Restoration. Glorious restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes, Amen. I bind the spirit of depression. I bind the spirit of depression, frustration, and, and discouragement and against your life you might be discouraged right now you you don't have hope because you are thinking how are you going to send the children back to school how are you going to buy uniform it, next monday and you don't know don't have food you don't have anything you just get so much discouraged you are depressed you are sick you, your house you have not paid your mortgage you have not paid your car insurance everything is piling together and you are, you are thinking what you you can do checks are bounced don't worry. God Almighty has had your cry. It's going to be restored. If God is going to bring your money from the Chantai, from the kings, and you will receive it in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sponge perform the necessary such cooperation in your areas of your life in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let every surgeon perform necessary such over your life. That you are sick. That you are you are pain. What you are going through. Every father, even in, in heaven, they will bring surgical and they will operate you. They will heal. You will be healed and set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you. I want to give you all the glory, God. Thank you, every father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I want to thank God for you. And I pray that God will help you. Restoration is coming to, to, to sow to the, to the good soil, to sow to the right place. Please. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhm at gmail.com. That is email. Go and so there. Use the email address. Use our website is www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca. Go there and sow your seed. You can also send your seed through MoneyGram. Through Western Union, uh, money order, you can you can do email transfer. We accept any 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 pay the way you want to sow your seed, and God will bless you. Twenty seventeen, watch and see if God cannot open windows of heaven and bless you. If God cannot transfer the wealth of Gentile to you, if you pay the right, if you do the right thing, yes, overcome us, Hallelujah, overcome us. The email is overcomers d h m at gmail.com. You can do that that email transfer very easy. It takes you two minutes when you have the email transfer. Two minutes you finish. If you want to go to the, the website www.overcomers d h ministry .ca, you can go there and you will see donation. You can donate an amount. Donate the best. And then God will trust you. If you have, if you don't have that, fine. Then remember, what you have is what God can bless you with. People, they call me here to pray for them many times. Some of them, they think I'm God. And I say, I'm not God. Yeah? I know that 
uh, your, your, your money, your, 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 your gift will speak, will, will open up to God. I'm, I'm, I'm praying that God will help you. God will help you. When you are giving your donation, you are giving to God. You are giving, you are not giving to me, you are giving to God. If you want to bless me as an individual, as Christine, you, you say this is yours. But if you are giving to God, for God to open for you treasure of heaven and transfer your wealth, you are giving to God. And when you are giving to God, you will see. Yeah? Don't give it, don't give to me $20. Then you will make sure that you call me 100 times because of your $20. I will not to accept that. Because some people have, have so much, they are mad. I know they are mad. They are mad. They are sick in their head. I need to help you. That is one way to tell me that you are sick. Now, because you have given me $20 or $50, now you want to control, you don't want other people. This is not the way. I want you to know that any penny, anything you give, you are giving to God. And I will be praying for you and God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God will bless you and keep you. And come to join me 12, 12 noon, 12 midday for, for prayer for children. We'll, I will be praying for children. Pastor Johnny will, is a pastor. It's a pastor. It's a very wonderful pastor. He's going to speak, praying for the children. We'll be praying children together. So invite your children. If you cannot come from, because you are in another country, you will come on prayer line or you will come on, 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 on Periscope. Our prayer line number, we have numbers for Canada and USA, but we can use USA. USA number is 712-832-8330. Can somebody put this number up? The, the prayer line number is 712-832-8330. And access code number is 9625184. Pound. Yes, that is the, the right one. Now you can write the access code number is 9625184. Come join us uh, midnight, mid, midday. That is 12 noon. 12 noon, prayer line or periscope. If periscope is not working, then uh, uh, if net, because sometimes the internet is bad there. That's why sometimes you don't see me in a periscope. It, we told them they are fixing. Mm -hmm. And prayer line, you will see us. Thank you, Father, my God bless you. See you tomorrow, Sunday service. Have a wonderful time, people of God. I love you so much. Make, make sure that you go and sow a seed. I have so many videos that can help you 2016. Uh, 20, 2016 and 2017. The videos, they were in 2016. So they are, they are talking about 2017. They are like fire brigade videos. They are all deliverance videos. So go and help yourself. God will open your eyes like the way he opened that man. And then you start seeing things you have never seen. I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. You know I love you. Thank you very much. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi saying bye-bye. Bye-bye to you. Bye-bye. Wow, God is good. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Bye.